Good morning. Today we're going to evaluate the limit as x approaches positive infinity of the ln of 1 over x divided by 1 plus the ln of 3x. Um, this is actually kind of a difficult limit uh, on first appearance to evaluate uh, without uh, L'Hopital's rule. Even with L'Hopital's rule, it might it might cause some problems. But we can actually use properties of logarithms in order to uh, change this because in the in the current form we see that uh, as x approaches positive infinity, we have. Uh, 1 over x approaches uh, 0, and as the natural log approaches 0, well, it, I guess you could say because it's positive infinity, it's going to approach it from the right. It goes to negative infinity, um, and then we have 1 plus uh, 3 times infinity, and the natural log as it goes to infinity is infinity, so we have the indeterminate form infinity over infinity. So therefore, uh, we we can't evaluate the limit directly, but we can uh, use properties of logarithms uh, to see if it helps a little bit and to change the look of this. And one thing that I notice right off is that the limit is x. I can change this 1 over x to x to the negative 1. And then we know one of our properties of logarithms is that we can, when we have the, an exponent on the argument, we can make it, uh, we can multiply the whole logarithm by that exponent, and we haven't changed anything. So we'll do that. So we have the limit as x goes to positive infinity of negative natural log of x over 1 plus another property of logarithms is here we have the logarithm of 3 times x. A logarithm of a product is the sum of the logarithms of the individual um, arguments. So we would have, we can break the logarithm, the natural log of 3 times x into the natural log of 3 plus the natural log of x. Um, at this point, you could use your brain and evaluate the limit, uh, but there's a, there's a technique. Uh, to where you could actually show that this what this limit is uh, as x approaches infinity uh, with some manipulation. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by one, like we can always do. We can multiply by one and not change the value of a function. And we're going to, uh, but we need to choose what we're going to multiply one in the form or yeah, multiply one in the form of uh, by. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply by 1 in the form of 1 over the ln of x over 1 over the ln of x. And why did I choose this? Well, for it works for one thing, but because it's 1, 1 over x, ln of x over 1 over the ln of x is 1. Uh, and when I do that, I can actually evaluate this limit rather simply. So when I distribute 1 over the ln of x to negative 1 over, I mean negative ln of x, get the limit as x approaches positive infinity, uh, it's negative 1. When I multiply, we distribute 1 over the ln of x through this denominator here, I get 1 over the ln of x plus the ln of 3 over the ln of x plus uh, ln of x over ln of x is just 1. So now I can evaluate this limit. Uh, I might not have to say this, but uh, please be aware that the ln of three is a number, and it's actually kind of a small number, but uh, it's a number, it's not a function. I just thought about that. Some people think it's a function, they see lns and they freak out. Um, don't. So uh, the limit of the numerator as x goes to to positive infinity is, of course, it's just the limit of the constant. It's negative 1. Uh, as 1 over x, uh, ln of x in the denominator goes to infinity. As the ln of x goes to infinity, the function goes to infinity. 1 over infinity is 0. ln of 3 is just a, it's really pretty much a small number. Uh, 
it's a little bit it's a little bit larger uh, than I don't even think it's it's larger than yeah it's a little it's a little larger than one but not 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 by much uh, anyway uh, ln of three over ln of x goes to zero and the denominator goes to one so the limit is negative one <laughs>